Hi, this is CAD CAM Lessons channel. In this video, I will show you how to copy solids in FreeCAD so that you can have several solids within one project. I will also show you one example of when this can be helpful. FreeCAD is a truly free 3D CAD system that anyone can use. To use FreeCAD, you just need to download and install it. In fact, within a few minutes, we can create our own 3D models. We don't need to register anywhere or provide any of our data. We simply download, install, and can start creating our own 3D models. If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new content. And if you'd like to support my work and treat me to a virtual coffee, you can find all the details in the description below. Thank you for your support. In one of the recent videos, I showed you how to create several solids in one project. Here, as you can see, I have two solids. They are two separate solids, not connected to each other. Something like this can sometimes be useful. Here I deleted one solid. When it comes to creating several solids in one project, there are various situations where this can be helpful. One of the relatively simple cases in which creating several solids in one project can be useful is simply the fact that, based on a 3D model, we are making a part. After creating the part, it turns out that we needed to make some changes. And let's assume we have such a rule that we create an original model, and later, when we make changes, we create another copy of that model. We do not change the original model because we leave the source model as it is and make changes in the copy of the model so that in case we need to, we can return to the original model. We can do something like this in FreeCAD by utilizing the ability to have several solids in one FreeCAD file. In this specific example where we want, for example, to make changes, we can do this by creating a copy of the source solid. I select this solid in the operations tree press Control c a window appears here, we copy everything, and then I press Control v and we have the copied model. Now, if we want to make some changes, we can edit this model. We can make changes here. For example, it turns out we need to move the holes. OK. Now, when we turn off the visibility of two models, everything is visible in FreeCAD. We have the first model and we have the second model that we copied. Both of these models are in one FreeCAD file and something like this can facilitate file management and model management on our computer. Then, when we are creating a part, we need to make some changes. We don't have to create another file on the computer. Instead, within one FreeCAD file, we simply create another solid. And this is indeed a simple way to utilize the capability of creating multiple solids in one FreeCAD project. Of course, by creating solids in such a way where we create several separate solids in one project, we can also create simple assemblies of parts, meaning parts consisting of many separate objects. I will show you something like this in one of the next videos. I will show you how to create separate parts that are related to each other, but we will not be using the assembly workbench for this purpose. Instead, we will simply create it in the part design module and utilize the capabilities that the part design module gives us to link individual parts together. For today, we will finish here. I wanted to show you such a simple example, including how to copy solids within a FreeCAD project. We do this simply using Control c Control v and how we can utilize the features FreeCAD offers regarding having several separate solids within one project. Changing the project name can be useful as well. To change the name, we right-click, select Rename, and enter the name in the file. We can add the revision number or the date of changes so that it's clear that something has changed here. This way, we have the entire history of changes in one FreeCAD file. We have separate solids here, and later, if necessary, we can return to previous parts. We can check what has been changed, what modifications we made, so I think something like this can be very useful in certain cases. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.